Hello everyone. Welcome back to your favorite channel Studlins which adds excellence to your learning. In our previous lecture, we've seen about different types of operators in JavaScript. We've also performed the different types of operations using these different types of operators present in JavaScript. We will now see conditional statements in JavaScript which basically works on the conditional statements when fulfilled. We have three keywords if elif and else keyword Now let's see to the syntax is one by one We can see that on the screen inside if we define the condition and accordingly we use the print statement Then here we define the else condition in case the if condition becomes false then this else condition is executed Now let's practically apply whatever we have learned in this part in our live coding session. So let's move to the live coding session. In the last live coding session, we have seen and gone through various operators to be used in JavaScript. In this session, we will understand what kind of conditional statements are present in JavaScript. Firstly, open your home.html file and your script.js file which we have created in the earlier sessions. Now, what is a condition? that is if a particular statement is being satisfied that statement to be satisfied and then we can go to the next step is called a condition that is in case you have parents who care for you like they are kind of strict with respect to your timings to come into your house and like go out of your house you want to go out and your parents give you a condition that you have to come back to your home by 8 pm now this condition of 8 pm has to be satisfied so that you can go out and so you agree to the same and then you are sent out that is you agree to the condition that is condition is being true and then you a procedure is being followed in case the condition is false you tell them that no i am not going to come by 8 pm i'll come like after 8 pm of course you are not sent so like if the condition is false you have another procedure to be followed similarly to work with conditions we have different statements like if else else if and switch now let's see to how if works now the if condition is to be satisfied then the statement which is in the braces will be given out suppose this is not satisfied what happens is the statement which is outside will be printed right now let's see if suppose let's change this let me show you let's save this particular code i have changed nothing i have just changed 6 to 4 so that i wanted to make it false and then i want to show what is the actual output so like this condition 5 5 is less than 4 no right so number is less than 4 this is condition is false so this particular statement will not execute this statement will be executed i guess right let's see to the output so it's five so which statement is being executed the one which is outside of the if so it got terminated and then it got exited from this particular braces and then it has given you this particular output what if you have six over here and let's type six print and then save you can see that number is less than 6 and always the print statement which outside the braces will be printed so number is statement number that statement the number is less than 6 is being printed and also the print statement which is outside is also being printed so what is how is this working so if a condition which is present over here is true then the particular statement present in the braces will be given along with the one which is outside the braces if it is false it exists from that code and then gives you the statement which is outside the braces now let's see what is else statement before you have given that we have we didn't have this else part in the before if code which is had this part right so here if b is less than 4 that is if 5 is less than 4 print that it is less than 4 else if it is not less than 4 print this particular value of b 
so what is else doing if the statement of if condition is false that is if condition is false then the else part is being executed now save this let's see to the code you can see it is 5 because it is not less than 4 it is greater than 4 so this condition is being false and hence the and hence the else part of the code is being executed now what is the else if part of the code like how is it going to work what is else if statement this specifies a new condition of the first if condition is false so like instead of directly else we have an else if which says that if it is less than 4 then you have to print this else if if it is greater than 4 you have to print this else you have to print the value of b so you are seeing if the particular thing condition is true or no if it is false it comes to the else if if this is false it goes to the else but then see to the output let's save this and let's go to the output you can see that is number greater than 4 which part of the code is being executed the else if part so if the if statement if condition is false the else if part of the code will be written if that particular condition is true now let's go to the switch statement to see to the last statement which is switch this is used to select a particular value in whole of the given codes which is being present that is it selects a particular value of many codes to be executed let's see to the code we have let i is equals to 10 you know that we have two we have two keywords to define one is let and one is var here we have used let keyword we have declared we have defined it as 10 we have defined the i variable assigned the value 10 the switch the condition is that i value has to be 10 now this searches for the value where it is present if it is present in 0 then it is 0 if it is 1 it is 1 if it is 2 it is 2 now we have no 10 value over here it gives you the default it gives you the default message that is if that particular value is not present a default message is shown that this value is greater than 2 now on saving this let's see to the output now to see to the output we can see that i is greater than 2 right now how is this working the expression is being evaluated the value of the expression is being compared if it is 10 and if it is not then you have a default message being printed if it is matching suppose let's take it as one then save it let's go to the output you can see that i is one because the expression is being matching with the value given to that particular case now you can see that here we have a particular break statement what is this break statement you can see that once the value is i of one is matching with the value of this case as one this is being printed and nothing else is being printed right so this break statement present over here it terminates the statement sequence that is once it is designed once it is found that this particular statement is present it breaks it out of that comes out of this particular code and then prints the same so the rest part of the code is not being printed so to wrap up what we have learned in this session we have learned about what is a condition and how we can apply that particular conditional statements in our code using JavaScript. That is all for this live coding session. Congratulations on completing this concept. We will get back to you with some more interesting concepts in the upcoming video. Till then, take care and bye-bye.